Okay, y'all, we're back. This might be the beginning of a new project today. So today, I'm not doing any work. I'm just documenting. We are getting the steel being put into the ceiling. This is something that we 100% cannot do on our own. We need professionals. So in order to get this process started, we consulted with a structural engineer. He came out, looked at the two walls we wanted to knock down that I will show you a clip of. These two walls were basically um, the divider between the family room, the kitchen, and the dining room. These two walls kind of made it tough to renovate the kitchen and leave it there because we wanted an island and we wanted the open space. He came out, he looked in our attic and our basement. Both are unfinished, totally unfinished, so everything is exposed, which is perfect for a situation like this considering they need to see the bones of the house. He looked at that, he told us one wall was low bearing and one wall was not. So when we did our demolition, a video you probably have already seen already, once we did our demolition, we realized, well my husband realized that both of the walls were indeed load bearing. So we had to get new, a new design and um, we ended up finding a, I guess he's a general contractor. We ended up finding a general contractor. He is excellent, like communicative, on time, prompt. He explains everything. The day has arrived where we are getting the beam done. I'll be showing you guys clips of the work that's getting done today, um, but I won't keep my camera there because I feel like that's kind of rude. People are working. <laughs> so I'll show you guys clips of throughout the day. This will be a two day process. Today is Monday. They will be wrapping up tomorrow um, on Tuesday. And the next few slides or clips you'll see are the work, the workspace, all that jazz. Jeremy, this is Mr. Rowe. Yep, here we go. Jeremy, you're going to get No, you're fine. I'm just being very nosy. y'all hey boom we got a couple seconds to film um they're having a lunch a snack break i don't know i don't know but let's go fast <laughs> i really don't want to disrupt them or get in their way while they're working so i'll be doing updates periodically this is where the beam is going you see this line here that's where the beam is going and they have to break all of this out but yeah this is the update we'll probably have to put a ton of insulation back in the roof because all of it's been leaving since this has started. All that mesh. Yeah. It's so much. Right. All because <laughs> they made a strong house. <laughs> <laughs> this house is so, so strong, y'all. Every time we have somebody come out to look at the house, they're like, wow, this house is so well built. Like that's all they say because everything is so strong and it's super reinforced. And I'm so grateful for that because not all houses are built very well, but this house is built amazingly well. So it's not as easy to kick a hole in a wall or tear something down. It's work, it really is work. If the beam gonna be this wide, y'all see this straight line here? If the beam gonna be this wide, that's crazy. That's like cuckoo bananas. I don't know. We'll see in the update because I was thinking it was gonna be like from this opening to like that. That's how big I thought it was gonna be. But they line is thick. Swift update. They knocked everything out of the ceiling going across and this way as well because there are gonna be two different beams. So all you see up there is insulation and wood. <coughs> Swift update. That's literally right into the attic. You see the uh Ooh, chale, it's cold. Okay, so this is the end of day one. They cut this hole here in the ceiling and they knocked all of this out. This is straight up. This is literally this the attic. 
That's the top of the house. Wow, wow, wow. And then this is the support beam they put in because they, they're they taking the support beam. They took the studs out. This so the studs, huh? The beam that's on the front section of the Right, this, this, I know this been in. I'm saying they put these in oh, yeah. Yeah. To, because they took the studs out. So the studs that were here, going into the ground, they took all of those out. All right. And then they put these in because this is how far the beam is gonna go. And then boom, there's the beam. Look how long it is. And it's gonna go from one wall to the other wall. And then this is gone too, what? The, uh, what is that even called? That um, like connected the room, separated the rooms. Wow. So this will be gone too. This is the other stuff that they did. So they opened all of this up. They didn't take these two out because they didn't put a support um, post. They didn't put the support post here. Um, tomorrow's a nice day. I hope tonight's a nice night because we are exposed. We are truly exposed. And. Can you look? They cleaned up. We're at the conclusion of day one. We've been waiting for this. <laughs> oh my God. I cannot believe like it's it's like almost done. We're at the halfway mark, I think. This stuff is super thick. Let me show y'all. Can I zoom in? Let's zoom in. You see that? That is thick. That is not standard drywall. Oh, this is even better. This is not standard drywall. This is what my house is made of. <laughs> I'm not mad at it because sis is sturdy. She's sturdy. She's sturdy. Big Bear Wolf can't do nothing here. But the problem is when you want to do renovations, it's 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 not easy. So here we are at the end of day one. But um, they worked from probably seven. Probably, they got here at 7.30. They got here at 7.30 and they left about around 5. Oh. Oh. An almost midday update. The beam is up. The beam is up. This is crazy. And it stretches all the way down there. The next beam is gonna go where this wood is going across where the ceiling is open. Crazy. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. I cannot believe this is all gonna be open. And we just got some crazy advice that we should knock out all of the ceiling. Cause you see how thick it is. It's gonna be pretty hard to match that. Um, so we may be ending up doing that. I'll keep you guys posted. I just cannot believe. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. No, you're fine. I'm just mesmerized. <laughs> oh my gosh. Too much. What? Dude, the guys are asking, I said, I've never seen, it's almost two inches of plaster. Yeah. That's there nice. is a layer of blue board, which is the first, but then. Right, and that's why I said, I was, I was like, it looked like they put a layer of drywall they, on top of it. What they did is they, they must have embedded the white, the copper, mm. and then they did wire. Uh, oh. And at the end of the day, it's a, that's two inches thick. It's yeah. everywhere. Right. Which is bizarre, yeah. which we've never seen that. I've never seen that. Huh. So this stretch is about 20, a little over 24, about 24 feet. Mm -hmm. That was the main piece of steel. Mm -hmm. We do brace the ridge back to here. Okay. Which it had a ridge leg, but I re reinforced that. Okay. This one is 821 steel. And essentially get the bolt in on this end plan for the big guy. Okay. 
Okay. And we go from the garage wall, which is the foundation wall. So we go from foundation wall to foundation wall. Okay. Okay. Well, I always encourage people to take it all down, to take it down, at least on this side, mm -hmm. because then you can really light the kitchen the way you want to. Yeah. And we want to, we'll probably do it on this side too. Honestly, we take this side down. Right. Well, supporting roof this is only supporting ceiling. Okay. There's mm. not a lot of weight on this beam. Right. Which is why it's less than half mm. the size. That's 48 pound. This is only 20 pounds, less than half. Because oh. we're really taking the weight of the ceiling. So the This is undershirt. Instead of wasting them. See you guys later. All right, cousin. Right, cousin. <laughs> Good work. I appreciate it. All right. <laughs> Every, man, this is good. Yeah. This is Thank y'all. This is great, man. Thank you. Thank no problem. You. Right, Have the rest of your day. Take care, cousin. I don't know if you guys can tell, but this is totally different. Like, completely different. No more studs. Warranty. No, no, no. no I think we're going to use that. Yeah. And then he'll send the, um, like a link for review. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Today was day two of work and they finished probably early. It's not five o'clock, is it? I don't know what time it is, but they finished. Both beams are up and they are attached. They finished early. The beam is attached at each point. At each point. And there's wood in, in between the beam. So that's how it's attached. This is where the, what the supporting wall looks like. And then it's sitting there on the frame of the house. And then, yes, I think this one is 48 pounds. He said this beam is 48 pounds and it's connected at each point. And then it's sitting on this side. And then this one is less than half the, side, half the uh, weight of the first one. This one is 21 pounds, it's connected on each side. And this one is supporting the ceiling. So it's not supporting as much as the larger one. And they are connected here. Y'all, it was a wall right here. This was a piece of the wall. And then this was a sliding door. And then this was the rest of the wall. And then this was the other wall. Both low bearing. I can't get it in there good. You, you don't gotta get it in there good, just get it in there. This one I ain't been going to the gym. Right here. Cause this is enough. That's probably good. Well, right there, bring it right there. And we can let this kind of hang until we forgot that. We're going to do this.
editing Kim back at it again with a random outro. I never know when these videos are going to start or end. And because it's such hands-on work, sometimes I just roll the camera and I just start doing what needs to be done. So moving forward, well, I guess from this point on, um, I'll try to do more commentary while it's happening so I can explain things and I won't have to pop back in or leave any captions or text to explain that because now it's it's a lot of work that you see and I don't want time lapses to be the entire video so I try to show a lot of the process and what's going on but moving forward I'll definitely try to insert more commentary and um, get more clips so we can move through the process and show the progress um throughout the video so yeah just wanted to say that and i also wanted to say thank you so much if you've been supporting me this um renovation process has been tough to say the least um and it has not been easy so thank you if you are supporting if you're watching if you're commenting if you're liking because i never say to do any of those things but um this is something i'm going to always want to look back on and just be wild that we actually did it on the days when i'm looking back on this girl y'all snapped and y'all did what needed to be done and even if nobody else thought y'all could do it y'all thought y'all could do it and the fact that y'all did it together y'all cold thank you guys so much for watching i will see y'all in the next one one thanks for show two things for certain everything always works out and history repeats itself bye y'all